Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm Andrew. This is Lake D, uh, King of the Caves 135 pound champ. King of the Caves 135 pound champ. Um, I think he's got a fight coming up in October. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Trying to get him another fight, another title. Um, really good wrestler. Today we're going to be working on single legs off of a lead club. So if I'm in my wrestling stance and I see somebody clubbing with their lead hand, they're telling me that maybe they're not great wrestlers or they don't understand that they're leaving their lead leg um, out for me to grab. Right? So when we're playing here, if we have matching lead steps, so my left leg against his right leg, and he clubs with his lead hand, if I can pop, I'm right hand on the leg and jump into the bend. If he comes with his back hand and I pop that, I try to shoot, he, he has a down block hand, so he can block me. So a good wrestler, usually, they club with that back hand, and they have the same for down blocking, and now they can get to work. So if he comes with his lead hand, I'm just gonna look to pop the elbow and rotate my shoulders. I'm not trying to push, right? I'm just trying to pop the elbow, rotate my shoulders to clear that elbow. I drop down to my back knee and just go into a false grip, wrist deep on his knee. Now even if he pulls his leg back, he pulls me to him, right? So again, he goes lead, uh, lead club, I pop, shoot, and now I'm just gonna pull myself around the corner here, up into my single. Okay, now that I have a good single leg, I'm pinching my knees, I'm gonna run the pipe. Because he has a good wizard, he's connected himself to me. Right? So I'm gonna step back and bow, and snap him down with my, um, my single leg running the pipe. Now when I land, when we run the pipe, a lot of times I'm going to go straight into a dope now, okay? So again, he's clubbing, pop, shoot, pull myself in, and now here I'm running the pipe, okay? And right away, when we land, I'm going to pin this bottom knee, and I'm going to drive my knee through and play my dope now. This is one of the staging areas I like to work on with my MMA fighters, right? This is a good place to land damage and hold position. In pure jiu-jitsu, it's a good place to look for control that leads to mounts and things of that nature, right? So another option is if I shoot in and he doesn't really get a good wizard or doesn't connect to me, or he's kind of playing a looser game, I'm going to pull him into a body lock, right, and head waves. So playing here, shooting in, coming up, and now I feel like I'm not really connected to him. I try to go, but he's not really reacting. I'm going to pull him to me and lock this body lock. Now, my first option, the first thing I want to get into is taking him straight back, back trip. So he's my head under his chin, my knee behind his knee, and I start taking him back. He's going to step back to correct this. As soon as he does, my hip goes inside his hip, and now I just pull him over the top. Alright, I can finish with a really strong hip throw. Okay? So again, popping, coming in, pulling him in to my body lock. I start taking him back. As he steps back, my hip goes to his hip. I lift his hip up. See how his right foot's not on the mat? Now I can easily rotate him over my hips and finish that thing down, right? And now, lastly, we're gonna look at a scenario that he wants to get into. He's gonna take his lead leg outside and start shelving it on my hip, right? So when I shoot in, come up, he takes his foot to the outside. Now it's really hard to run the pipe. It's really hard to get in on body locks. Right? So what I'm going to do here, as I come up and he runs, or he puts his foot to the outside, is I'm going to do a big pull and get him to step. And what you'll notice is his wizard always comes a little loose. Right? So here, shoot again, I do a big pull. You see this gap? I'm going to dive my head in this gap and I'm going to run lively across his body into a double leg and finish my single to double. Okay? One more time with that one. Right here, popping, shooting, snap. Dive my head inside. Run laterally across the body as I need help, and I can run my double leg. Okay? So there's three good options, three variations of finishing a single leg, all from the same position. If they're standing opposing lead steps with you, or I mean matching lead steps, left foot against right foot or right foot against left foot, and they club with the lead hand, Pop and go. Make a connection to their leg and take what they give you. If they make a tight wizard, connect to you, run the pipe. 
Let them make the space, body lock. Finish with a body lock, take down backwards, or hip throw, all very powerful. And lastly, if they take the foot to the outside, we can do a big snap and then run a double off of that position. Really powerful options. Um, again, I'm Andrew, it's my buddy Lake G, uh, King of the Caves champion, 135. It's probably gonna be a 25 pound champ or something big soon. Oh, yes. Yeah, so um, we're over here at Nexus Jiu Jitsu and Pulsa, getting that work in. Um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. And if you have any um, questions, concerns, talking points, or techniques that you see in the future, throw it down in the comments. Uh, yeah, go try it out. Let me know how it goes. Oh, thanks, brother.